Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a really quick review for you on the new Revlon Matte Balms. And I originally um, included the review of the Lacquer Balms in a recent haul and review video where I showed a bunch of different drugstore products and all that, but they didn't have hardly any of these. So I finally came across these and mentioned something about it on Instagram and you guys said you did want to see a review or a couple of you did. So I have five of them to show you. I was wearing this one earlier today, so I'll be able to kind of tell you a little bit about the wear and how it lasted and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try to start with the lighter and go darker and all that jazz. So I'm going to show you on my lips and let you see me applying them and then give you my review. So let's get started. Okay, the first one is 220 Showy, and it is basically just a really bright bubblegum pink. Um, I really, really like it. I don't know about so much for the fall, but you know, you don't have to follow those rules. It's just a bright, beautiful pink. Um, going on my lips, it felt very creamy, um, very soft, not like a typical matte lipstick. It goes on very, very creamy. Um, I could see that it could be a little bit um, easy to get outside the lines if you're not careful because it's so creamy. You could just kind of start to put it on and then, whoa, get a little out of control there for a second. Um, so I would watch that when you apply these, but I really like this color. I think it's a really beautiful, bright, baby doll, bubblegum pink. Okay, next is 240 Striking. And this is like, I would describe this as more of kind of a pinup kind of red because it's definitely more orangey, warm toned red. And I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I picture more of the orangey reds to be a little bit more retro pinup. I mean, any kind of red really could be, but um, I actually really prefer these kinds of reds um, that lean more this direction. I, I don't know why. I feel like it goes better with my skin tone or maybe brings out the blue in my eyes a little bit, um, but I really, really like this one. Um, if you're going for more of the kind of berry, cool toned red, this is definitely not the color for you because this is more, definitely more orangey. Um, but again, it glided on very nicely, just like the bright pink one, just like Showy did. Really, really nice. When I went to uh, remove Showy, it came off fairly easily. Like, it really didn't leave a stain or anything like that, at least in that amount of time that I was wearing it. So, there's those two. On to the next. Okay, here we have 225 Sultry. And this one is definitely more of a deep berry mauve. Definitely more mauve. It's not one of those bright berries. I do really like this one for fall. I think it's kind of a different sort of a color for fall. Um, I like the deep tones in it. Um, yeah, it's got a little bit of a wine sort of undertone. I would say it's a darkened version of my lips, but better. You know what I mean? It's kind of in that same family, but much, much deeper. But I think it's um, a beautiful color and kind of different. Like, I don't feel like there are a ton of these kind of colors that come out in a lot of different lines. So I really like this color. 225 Sultry. Okay, now we have number 250 Standout. And this one is more of a deep red. And I see more blue tones in this one versus this other color. What was that one? Striking. Um, this one definitely has more of those blue tones to it, but not a lot. It's not like a raspberry red. It's more of just a classic deeper red. Um, I think it's really pretty. I like this color a lot. So there is this one, 250 Standout. I like it. Okay, and then finally we have 215 Shameless. And this is a deep purple. And it's a purple. <laughs> it's not berry. It's not anything else. It is purple. Uh, reminds me of kind of the Maybelline fall collection that came out. They had several purples. This is definitely in that same family. So it's neat because it's hard to find. If you're looking for a purple lipstick, it's sometimes pretty much impossible to find that in the drugstore. So, and a deep one at that. So I think it's, I think it's a nice color. Um, when I was applying it in the video, I look a little shocked. <laughs> um, I wore this one today, but I think applying it over my starting to be a little bit stained reddish sort of lips, it makes it more dark, especially with the kind of red outline not cute. But I liked it when I wore it today. Um, I don't know that this is the most flattering color on me by any stretch, but 
I think it's something kind of different and fun and good for fall. So yeah, that's that one, 215 Shameless. Okay, overall thoughts and opinions and final review. I really like these. Um, they were $8.99 at Walgreens. That's where I found mine. I think they were buy one get one half off and then I had some coupons and stuff so they ended up being a little bit cheaper. Um, about the formula. So yes they're a matte but I think it helps that it says matte balm because it's kind of a different sort of a matte. Um, it's not your traditional matte lipstick. It goes on very creamy um, and just glides on the lips. And then after a few minutes, it kind of starts to feel a little bit drier and more matte. Like this has already started to feel more like a matte lipstick and not quite so, ooh, you know what I mean? Like it's glidey, not so much like that. Um, but it never really mattes down to as dry feeling as a traditional lipstick. Um, which I love matte lipsticks, me personally, because I don't have to worry about it being on my teeth. I don't have to worry about it bleeding everywhere. Transfer is very minimal, all those things. Whereas this, you're not going to have those benefits. You have the creaminess that makes it more comfortable feeling, but it does transfer, not horribly, but you know, like a, like a lipstick. Um, it wore pretty well, but then I noticed it was staying on my lips for several hours, but then when I went and ate lunch, um, it did pretty much wear off pretty much like a regular lipstick. It wasn't horrible, but it pretty much came off and it really didn't stain. It just kind of was left around the outsides of my lips. So just kind of know that, that it has the look of a matte lipstick, but the formula is more like just a traditional lipstick or something like that. Like it's, it's, it doesn't have the, the stickiness and the, it's going to be there and not go anywhere kind of a matte. You know what I mean? I hope that that's explained well enough. So, yeah, guys, so that's my overall review. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on these products. Do you like them? Which colors have you gotten? What do you think of it? I'd love to hear it. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel if you're new. And yeah, I think that's everything, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!